everyone! Today I will discuss the Serbian verbs, the present tense, future tense, and past tense. But before I proceed with the discussion, I would like you to download the PDF which I put in the description because everything I will discuss is just in the PDF. It's easier to follow. Serbian infinitive verbs usually ends with T. For example, znati, razumeti, gledati, učiti. There are other verbs which don't end with T, but we will discuss this another time. For now, we will focus on these common endings. Let's go to the present tense. For the first person singular, just remove T and add M. Znam, I know, razumem, I understand, gledam, I'm watching, učim, I'm learning. You can add personal pronouns too. Ja znam, ja razumem, ja gledam, ja učim. But better to omit it. It's easier. For the second person singular, you just remove T and add SH. Znaš, you know, razumeš, you understand, gledaš, you are watching, učiš, you are learning. Again, you can add a personal pronoun T, but no need. For the third person singular, he or she, just remove T and that's it. Zna, he or she knows. Razume, he or she understand. Gleda, he or she is watching. Uchi, he or she is learning. Let's go to plural. For the first person plural, we, just remove T and add mo. Znamo, we know. Razumemo, we understand. Gledamo, we are watching. Uchimo, we are learning. For the second person plural, you, just remove T and add te. Znate, you know in plural. Razumete, you understand in plural. Gledate, you are watching in plural. Uchite, you are learning in plural. Also, they are using this you plural in formal. For the third person plural, they, just remove T and add you if the ending is a or change the ending to e if the ending is e. For example, the ending a, znati, gledati. If you remove t, then the ending is a, zna, gleda. So we will add you, zna you, they know, gleda you, they are watching. If the ending is e, then change it to e. For example, uchiti, remove t, then change e to e, uche, they are learning. Additional information. As you can see in the PDF, I put example sentences. For example, the sentence, do you know it? So, you know is znash if it's singular. And they are adding dali or li as a question indicator. Dali, znash plus the Serbian word for it or that, to. Dali, znash, to. For short version, you will insert the question indicator li after the verb. Znaš li to? Do you know that or do you know it? Let's go to the future tense. As you can see in the table in the PDF, there are corresponding auxiliary verbs for future tense depending on the personal pronouns. If in English we are using will for future tense, in Serbian we are using this. Čučeš če, čemo če te če. You must memorize them. Why? Because we just need to combine them and the infinitive verb. Let's use the same example. Znati, razumeti, gledati, učiti. For I will, will be ja ću plus the infinitive verb. Ja ću plus znati, ja ću znati, I will know. Ja ću plus razumeti, I will understand. Ja ću plus gledati, I will watch. Ja ću plus učiti, ja ću učiti. I will learn. For the short version, is the same as in the present tense. Just remove T and add the corresponding endings. For I will is ću. Znaću, I will know. Razumeću, I will understand. Gledaću, I will watch. Učiću, I will learn. For the second person, singular you, same rules. Just add the personal pronoun for future tense and add the infinitive verb. For you will is teachers. Teachers plus znati. Teachers znati. You will know. Teachers plus razumeti. Teachers razumeti. 
you will understand. Teachers plus gledati, teachers gledati, you will watch. Teachers plus uchiti, teachers uchiti, you will learn. For the short version, just remove t and other corresponding endings. In this case, chish. Znaches, you will know, razumeches, you will understand, gledaches, you will watch, uchiches, you will learn. For the rest, are the same. For past tense, same as in present tense and future tense, remove t and add the corresponding endings. But this time, it's by gender. So meaning, we will add the personal pronouns and auxiliary verbs. Unlike in the present tense and future tense, we can just omit them. But here, it's a must to put them. If you still don't know about the personal pronouns and auxiliary verbs, better to watch my previous video for you to understand it before proceeding in this lesson. Let's go to the masculine singular. Same example, znati, razumeti, gledati, uchiti. For masculine singular, just remove t and add o. Znati will become znao, razumeti, razumeo, gledati, gledao, uchiti, Ucheo. But this time, we don't know who knew, who understood, who watched, who learned. We just know that it's a masculine. So what we need to do is add the personal pronouns and the auxiliary verbs Yasam, Tisi, Onye, Onaye. Yasam, Znao, I knew, if I, the speaker, is masculine. For short version, Znao-san, same as in the adjectives which I discussed in the previous video. This is now, you knew, if you are masculine, for short version, znao si. On is now, he knew, of course, because on is masculine, znao is masculine. We will not use ona because ona is feminine and znao is masculine. It doesn't match. Let's go to the feminine singular. For feminine singular, just remove the and add la. Znala, razumela, gledala, uchila. Let's add personal pronouns and auxiliary verb. Yasan znala, I knew if I, the speaker, is female. I am female, so I will use this. Short version, znala sa. This is znala, you knew if you are female. Short version, znala si. Ona is znala. She knew, of course, because Ona is female and Znala is female. So here we will not use On because On is masculine and Znala is feminine, so it doesn't match. For neuter, just remove T and add Lo. For masculine plural, just remove T and add Li. Znali, Razumeli, Gledali, Uchili. Let's add personal pronouns and auxiliary verb. Mismo Znali. We knew if we are all males or mixed. Short version, znali smo. Vista znali, you knew if all of you are males or mixed. Short version, znali ste. Oni su znali, they knew if they are all males or mixed. Short version, znali su. For feminine plural, just remove t and add le. Znale, razumele, gledale, uchile. Let's add personal pronouns and auxiliary verb. Mismo znale, we knew if we are all female. Vista znale, if all of you are female. Onisu znale, if they are all females. Short version, znale su. For neuter, remove t and add la. So that is for the Serbian common verb rules. I put a ready-made Anki deck in the description for you to practice these verbs so you can download it. If you still don't know how to install and use Anki, I put the link in the description for the tutorial. In my next video, I will discuss the Serbian cases. See you there!